The world has regarded education as a foundation of knowledge, skills, and values. Philippines has gone through various revisions in its educational system just to address the needs of the society. Region 11 is a place where diverse cultures and good-humored people converge. A region with an expanding economic reach and stability, generating opportunities for its people, thereby creating a better and brighter future. The province of Davao Oriental is the home of the first UNESCO World Heritage Park in Mindanao, the Mount Hamikitan. It is the shelter of several species endemic to its summit ridges. The province is also known for its abundant tourist spots and destination spread across the proximity which reveal the rich heritage of the province. It also boasts its numerous agricultural products and livelihood programs beneficial for its rising economy by providing its people with income and producing world-class quality products. The province's most genuine strength are its people, known for their versatility and fortitude amidst adversities. They are celebrated for their adaptability in rebuilding their lives and starting anew. At the heart of Dava Oriental is Mati City, suitably endowed with world-class white sand beaches and surreal sceneries that contribute to the rapid rise of the city's tourism industries. The abundance of the city's natural wonders raised world champions, paving the way for further exposure and thus rising tourist interests. Because of its location, it gave birth to Pujana Bay, protected landscape and seascape. It is a city with rich history and culture encapsulated in the province's heritage museum, Subangan. Its abundance is much celebrated through Sampuukan, a yearly gathering commemorating its founding anniversary and Puhada Bay Festival, promoting the protection of the nature. With the region, province and city's emerging economy, rising population and pertinent development, comes the demand to establish an educational institution adept in responding the particular need of the whole. State College of Science and Technology is created in response to the need for a quality tertiary education. DOSCST traces its root from a humble Mati Community College. The dream was fulfilled when on December 13, 1989, Republic Act 6807, the bill authored by Honorable Thelma Z. Almario, was passed converting it into a state-run higher educational institution. Laying the ground for DOSCST was Dr. Julieta I. Ortiz, who was appointed on May 20, 1990. The chartered college started operations in June 1990 in its old site. On September 1991, it moved to its present 10 hectare site donated by Mindanao Agro Pioneers Corporation, owned by the heirs of late Don Jose Coro Martinez Sr. Dr. Jonathan A. Bayugan, who succeeded Dr. Ortiz in 1997, elevated the school from its Level 1 to Level 3 status. Dr. Grace G. Lopez, who succeeded Dr. Bayugan in 2007, opened the offering of more marketable programs which led to significant increase in enrollment and graduates. The incumbent administration under the leadership of Dr. Edito B. Sumili, which commenced on June 16, 2012, ushered DOSCST into greater heights. Transformation on its physical, organizational, personal, systems, and processes are seen and are currently undertaken to correspond to the changes of the times. Since its transition, from a humble community college to becoming what is now the DOSCST, the institution effectively plays its unprecedented role in the present-day society and becomes a vital component of the economic and technological development in the province's scenario. 
The college reoriented its curricular programs towards science and technology and has since produced outstanding graduates who have contributed in different facets of the society and resulted to few who made it into the top 10. The collective inputs of the past administrations in the current president's dynamic leadership have catapulted the institution towards academic growth and excellence. The affordable tuition fee in various curricular programs resulted the influx of the students' population from 4,000 in 2011 to almost 10,000 in 2017. This prompted the college to make way for facility modernization, bringing together luscious nature and infrastructures. The OSCSD is building strong foundation in academic excellence. It currently holds level 3 accreditation in its curricular programs and it is currently on its way to level 4 accreditation. Its newly established vision, mission, and core values, and even the academic calendar conform to the integration of the Southeast Asian nations for academic mobility in transfer credits. Capacity building for both teaching and non-teaching staff undergoes through continuous professionalization programs. To complement the aesthetic improvement of the college, it is currently shifting to outcomes-based education system to ensure the quality of students' output and performance. This is fully implemented in the newly restructured institutes and departments of the college. To extend its quality service in all edges of Davao Oriental, three extension campuses were formed. On November 1997, upon the representation made by Honorable Mayor Tina Yu, the Board of Trustees approved the opening of San Isidro Campus, established to make higher education more accessible to the people of San Isidro and Governor Generoso. On June 1999, the Catiel Campus was established to cater students from the municipalities of Manay, Baganga, Caraga, Catiel, and Buston. And in June 2015, the Banay Banay campus was established for the convenience of the students from the municipalities of Lupon in Banay Banay. The OSCST is fully committed in expanding learning opportunities for the students through its extensive academic scholarships and financial grants. In its aspiration to be of relevance to the community, Outreach programs are executed by the different institutes to fully utilize its students' capacity and talents increasing the sense of volunteerism among the students and supplements the institution's objective to expand its research, development, and extension programs. Pursuant to the objective of fulfilling its vital role in the community, the OSCST is in strengthening its research program. Its numerous researches contribute to the province's development, especially in tourism. Faculty members who led various studies have achieved recognitions in the field of research and development. Their outputs have contributed to the world's repertory of facts and valuable information through systematic processes. More than anything, the DOSCSD's vision to complement the province's progress is now a reality by pioneering and establishing economic and cultural standards. DOSCSD is currently preparing its grounds to cross the threshold from a state college towards becoming a state university under the House Bill 4218 authored by Honorable Mayo Z. Almario to share its achievements and contribution in every facet of the society. DOSCSD is on its way to spread its wings as a university of excellence, innovation, and inclusion.